Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Come On Keeping It Real. Well, it is Wednesday hump day. Man, I got a busy day ahead of me today. But before we get started this morning, let's check this. Look at this beautiful view this morning. This right here just makes me happy every single morning. I don't care what kind of sleep I got. And let me tell you, I did not get a good night's sleep last night, unfortunately. Welcome back. Yeah, I ended up staying up last night. I finished editing the video for the main channel, Come On Homesteading, at about, I don't know, 11 o'clock last night. I started uploading it to YouTube. It was quite a few hours of an edit. I think the video ended up being about 32 minutes. It was a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to be. But it was a beast of an edit. But I think it turned out pretty good. I think you guys are going to like it. That video will be going out uh, at 11 a.m. this morning. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And hit the notification bell. That way you get alerted when it goes live. Because uh, YouTube likes them to be watched fast and furious. It helps push it out. And that's what the algorithm looks for they keep track of the time and all that other stuff a little behind the scenes of youtube they keep track for the first uh day and then also the first week i believe but the first day is very important the faster it gets views when it first comes out the more interest that it tells the algorithm that it likes and it pushes it out to more people in turn makes the channel grow and makes me able to continue to put content out to you guys so Make sure you go check it out at 11 o'clock this morning. Um, like I said, I think it turned out to be pretty good. Y'all are gonna be surprised at how much I got done over the weekend. I was surprised at how much I got done. Anyway, it was a pretty big project. As far as the video on this channel uh, yesterday, man, there was a lot of reaction to that video. And I would say that the consensus is, go up. Now, there is a lot of concerns and stuff about the foundation and uh, can it support it and also the rotten logs on the cabin and all of that and those are all justified concerns and it's also the same concerns that I have as well I am not 100% committed to going up yet I have to do my due diligence I have to make sure that the foundation's good I got to make sure that the logs and stuff can handle it and all that I personally believe that it can um, in its current state right now, no, it can't. Uh, with all the damage in the front of the cabin to the lower logs there, I wouldn't build up right now for nothing um, until I get that addressed. I am reaching out today to an expert um, and gonna see if I can schedule them to come to Come On Mountain and uh, get a second opinion. I wanna kinda do my due diligence with everything and uh, not just Base it, base it off what I think. Um, I'm going to get a couple of opinions. I'll also be uh, talking with Gary and stuff like that, which I've already been talking to him a little bit about it and a couple other people that I trust. And uh, we're going to take a good look at it. I do believe we're good on the slab. <clears throat> um, it has a very thick, thick slab. I believe the slab itself is probably about eight inches. Um, and then plus footers all the way around. Now, it's not going to change my direction as far as the plans that I already have for what I already want to do. Um, I got a lot of comments about that too. It's just saying stick with the plan, take your time, and all of that. And uh, that's still the plan. I'm, I'm not trying to jump into this and do it, you know. The thing about it is, is the original plan was a much bigger project than what this is going to be to start with by doing it this way by going up it allows me to do it in sections now granted putting the walls up on the second story and putting the floor joist in and raising the roof up that's a big project and uh i have some vacation time and stuff set aside at work i will be taking a at least eight days off from work plus weekends or whatever so you figure about two weeks um I'll actually be off work whenever I do start that project and I don't plan on doing it alone. I plan on uh, calling in uh, some friends, family, stuff like that 
and have a good old fashioned barn raising party out there on Come On Mountain. And uh, I plan on having all the wood milled and stuff laid out and ready to go before we actually start. That way we can have one or two days of demo. And uh, cause it always is a lot quicker to take something down than it is to put it up. And then uh, basically after that, we'll all get together and knock the walls out, put the floor joists in, all of that, and then put the roof on. And then uh, my main concern is to get it dried in. As soon as I get it dried in, uh, then I'll take my time with the rest of it as far as like insulation and uh, you know all the finish work and I also want to go ahead and run electric and plumbing and anything else while the walls are open it makes life a lot easier so I don't know we'll see I think that the plan I got to fix the logs up underneath will be plenty strong enough to hold the next floor but like I said I'm going to use a center block to fix those and to lock it all into place and stuff. And if I have to, I will add structural support around the cabin in different areas to kind of hold all the logs and to give a little bit more bracing. I will do like some uh, little column looking things uh, going up the block or uh, the logs and stuff and through bolt the logs and all that. And then just do it like uh, rock little concrete pillars and stuff going up which will match the lower of the cabin if it needs it um, I don't know yet my next project with the indoor bathroom I actually have to cut the slab in order to run the piping out so that will give me a better understanding of how thick that uh, foundation is all the way around because on the outside you're only gonna see how thick the footers and stuff are so to actually be able to see on the inside of how they build it see if there's any rebar in it that kind of stuff that'll give me a better understanding of the slab once I cut that up because I'm gonna do about a two foot by probably five foot hole in the office area right there to run all the sewage lines and to bring the water in and also I'll be bringing gas and stuff in up underneath the ground to the kitchen and stuff to run the stove and probably the refrigerator stuff like that so that'll give me a better understanding of the slab and then once over I once I got a better understanding of the slab and I've talked to a couple of other people and bounced ideals off and stuff like that and I feel comfortable with making the decision of going up a story I will be going up a story now there was also a lot of comments about you know getting older and going upstairs and all that other stuff um, I believe I addressed that yesterday in the video, but uh, the, the video doesn't get watched all the way through. I mean, that's just facts. Um, nobody really watches the video all the way through for the most part. A lot of people do, a lot of people don't. But uh, if it ever gets to the point that I need a bedroom downstairs because of health reasons and stuff like that, I can always add an addition to the cabin like I originally planned on doing especially with the new design and stuff with going up. Um, it would actually be easier to just kind of do like a lean-to. Honestly, when I redo the porches all the way around, um, I will build them by code. And also, you know, there'll be at least two by six little uh, roof stringers and stuff to hold the roof and stuff. So it'd be plenty strong enough if I ever wanted to just close in one of those sections and concrete the floor or even put a subfloor in there or something like that to make an addition for a little bedroom if it ever got to the point that I couldn't go up and down the stairs. So that is a thought process of mine. I do plan on this being my forever home, so it has to be a, a thought. Um, if you're not thinking about getting older and that kind of stuff, then you're not thinking right to begin with. Another thing that happened uh, today, a little off subject, <laughs> I was on my way to work this morning and well, mountain life, mountain life. There was a branch burke out of a tree and all the way across my road and had me blocked in. So I had to deal with that this morning before I could even get on the road to work. But it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful hump day. The sun is already out, it's gorgeous, it's not too hot. There's a little bit of a cool breeze going on this morning but you can tell that humidity is starting to kind of pick pick up so I'm sure it's gonna end up being a hot one 
but it looks like it's gonna be a clear, beautiful day. And I also uh, found a raccoon trying to get in my trash last night. So apparently I got some raccoons running around. I did check the uh, cameras uh, yesterday when I got home from work and I didn't see nothing but a fox on one of them. So no deer, no bear, no cats, nothing too crazy. Um, I did see me coming in and out of the cabin and around the cabin and, and stuff at all different hours of the night. So that's kind of funny to kind of see yourself, you know, because you don't think about the cameras and stuff that's all around the house whenever you just, your day-to-day -day thing. And I do shower and stuff outside. So to see myself on a <laughs> camera just walking around, it was kind of funny. Um, kind of made me giggle. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But we also got uh a live tonight on the main channel come on homesteading and uh excited about that i'm excited to have the interaction with you guys and uh i'm real time it should be a good time there is one problem though i am out of sipping cream and i do not think that i'm gonna have time to go so it might not be a sipping cream party tonight but that's okay uh honestly i probably just need to drink some water and get some sleep after the live anyways because man it's it's been a rough couple of days between the weekend i mean i literally worked my butt off this past weekend and then uh work's been a little bit busy and then also trying to get the edits and stuff done and keep up with everything i'm tired i'm tired guys but we're getting through it i can't believe that it's already june the 22nd that is insane man this year is flying flying by and as of today in one month in one month i will be 45 years old that is crazy that is crazy crazy but i'm all right I, i'm i'm not one of the ones that stress about my birthday coming up and all that other stuff i embrace it i try to be like a fine wine i try to get better with age uh, body might not necessarily get better with age but the mind gets a little bit better for right now um, I try to learn something I try to grow every year so I'm about to be 45 years old so hopefully where I was at from 44 to 45 I'm a little bit wiser make a little better decisions and I know one thing every year that goes by I appreciate life more and more so it's definitely something that stays on my mind nowadays Oh, that sun is bright. You know, the older you get and the faster, you know, time seems to go, you know, you really kind of analyze your past and your future and your present and all that. And what's important is funny. You know, what's important at 20 is not the same thing that's important in 30. And what's important at 30 is not what's important in your 40s. You know what I mean? And it just kind of keeps going. I was actually reflecting while I was out there working this weekend, you know, with it being Father's Day and all that other stuff, um, just of my, my journey, my path to how I've gotten to where I've gotten. And the person that I was in my 20s, it's like a completely different person than I am in my 40s. So for me, I think that's a very good thing. Um, I'm not necessarily proud of who I was in my early 20s. I wasn't a horrible person, but I definitely wasn't the greatest person, I would say. So the fact that I've evolved and kind of got better with age, kind of like I was talking about with the wine, um, it means a lot. It means I'm on the right track. And uh, for me, I try to, uh, I just try to help kids out, you know, and try to be there for kids and mentor and stuff like that and make sure that I live a certain type of lifestyle because I'm all about uh, growing up I was always told do as I say not as I do always hated hated that saying to this day I still hate that saying I don't believe in it I believe in you know do as you see me do you know what I mean lead by example and uh, I didn't have that growing up I had the opposite uh, a lot of people in my my world doing things that you definitely shouldn't do and not being the people that you should be and then tell me to do something totally different you know I just to me that's not the right way to do it so I'm definitely not perfect by no means but I do my very best to try to lead by example 
and my kids know that the stuff that I preach and uh, stuff I live it you know they see me living they see me putting in the hard work and making the good decisions and all that other stuff so it's important and to be able to mentor kids and uh, give kids that don't have mentors and stuff like that the opportunity to have somebody to speak with and kind of look up to and uh, just kind of be there for them uh, for me uh, that, that's my legacy um, and it's very very important to me and the older I get um, the more and more important that that is to me as far as uh, making sure that I leave something behind you know the next generation to kind of carry on this lifestyle this thought process and you know to put other people uh, above yourself and you know to be selfless and you know try to do good Whew, I guess I'm reminiscing this morning a little bit too with my birthday coming up it definitely makes you think as you, as you get older and your birthday comes up you start thinking about things a lot more you know it, it's not so uh, you know bam 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 you know you actually think about what's coming up next you know what I mean and whoo, trust me I got a whole lot coming up next because boy I'm about to get busy but I do appreciate all the comments there was a ton of them there's no way I could respond to all of them that video kind of popped off and you know I, I figured it would I figured a lot of people would uh, probably say go up and I knew there would be some and man some of the detailed stuff that y'all talked about in there which I will answer in future videos was I mean spot on you guys are very very smart very very intelligent and that's why I put that video out there because I wanted to know y'all's opinion too because there was a couple of them uh, comments that I got that got, actually got me thinking and was like hmm you know so I appreciate that I appreciate you guys and if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe because we're approaching 5,000 subscribers this channel on average does anywhere from 10 to 11,000 views per video and we're at 4,000 and something subscribers so that means half of y'all ain't subscribed to the channel now come on can we get the subscribe button with a little notification bell come on that's myself as a plug for this morning but I appreciate y'all guys I love you guys and have a very productive hump day and I'll see you guys tonight on the main channel live at seven o'clock central standard time until we see each other again guys come on just keep it real